Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. December 28, 1941. Anthropoid Operation. Operation Anthropoid was the code name for a military operation that aimed to assassinate SS Obergruppenfuhrer and General der Polizei Reinhard Heydrich, head of the Reichssicher Hitschotant, RSHA, the Central Security Office of Nazi Germany. Heydrich was also the Reichsprotector, de facto governor, of the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, and was responsible for all government administration and bureaucracy in the region, including deportations of people to concentration camps. The attack on Heydrich was devised by the Special Operations Executive, SOE, a British intelligence organization, which recruited two exiles, Josef Gabsik, Slovak, and Karel Svoboda, Czech. Svoboda was later replaced by Jan Kubis, Czech. After two months of preparation, Gabsik and Kubis jumped out of a Halifax plane from the 138th RAF squadron, accompanied by seven other men. Once on the ground, they went to meet members of the Czech resistance in Nevesdy. They then went west and settled in Prague, the capital of Czechoslovakia. The operation was carried out on the morning of May 27, 1942, when Reinhard Heydrich left his home in Panensk Brezny towards his office in Prague Castle. He was passing through the Liben district, in the center of Prague, in his Mercedes 320 convertible. After the car made a sharp turn near Bulovka Hospital, Josef Gabsik approached and tried to open fire on the vehicle with his Sten submachine gun, but it got stuck. Upon seeing this, Heydrich ordered his driver, SS Sobershar for a Klein, to stop and then drew his Luger pistol and aimed it at Gabsik. Jan Kubis then threw a modified anti-tank grenade in a briefcase near the car. The shrapnel hit Heydrich squarely. Gabsik and Kubis then drew their Colt M1903 pistols and fired at the vehicle, but, stunned by the explosion, failed to reach the target. Shaken, Heydrich managed to get out of the car with his gun in hand and fired back. The two attackers then fled. Heydrich tried to chase one of them, took a few steps, and fell to the ground bleeding. Kubis ran away on a bicycle. Gabsik ran away from the incident and Heydrich ordered his driver, Klein, to chase him. Gabsik, however, drew his pistol and fired at his pursuer, wounding him with two shots. Mortally wounded, Heydrich was rescued by a local resident and a police officer, then taken to Bulovka Hospital and operated on in a hurry. SS Chief Heinrich Himmler sent his private doctor, Karl Gebhardt, to treat Heydrich. The patient survived the first night, developed a fever, and received high doses of morphine. After seven days, his condition improved, but he ended up in shock and then fell into a coma. Heydrich passed away on June 4, 1942. Nazi Germany's dictator, Adolf Hitler, was a personal friend of Reinhard Heydrich and ordered an investigation to begin immediately. Soon, more than 13,000 people were arrested. Relatives of those responsible were arrested and, along with members of the Czech resistance, were taken to the Mauthausen concentration camp and killed. Another 5,000 people are estimated to have died in Nazi reprisals. The most notorious or infamous revenge took place in the village of Lidice, where its inhabitants were attacked by SS men. The village was completely destroyed on June 9, 1942. About 199 men were killed, 195 women were deported to the Ravensbrück concentration camp and 95 children were imprisoned. Of these children, 81 were killed in gas trucks at the Chelmno death camp. Another village, Lezaki, was also destroyed. The Germans threatened further retaliation. Gabsik and Kubis took shelter in a church in Prague. A member of the resistance, Karel Kurta, betrayed the group and handed over the position of the hiding places of several members of the movement. Kurta was hanged by the Czech government in 1947 for treason. Troops from the Waffen SS then surrounded the church where the two snipers and their colleagues were. Kubis, Adolf Apaka, and Yaroslav Svark were killed in the subsequent shooting. Gabsik was injured and died in the hospital shortly afterwards. The church priest, Matej Pavlik, along with other members of the congregation were arrested by the Nazis and later executed. Heydrich's body was first veiled in Prague and then in a grand ceremony in Berlin. Heydrich was one of the most senior members of Hitler's inner circle, a staunch Nazi. He was one of the architects of the final solution to the Jewish question in Europe, which culminated in the Holocaust. One reason for the operation was to show the strength of the Czech government in exile and also as a reprisal for the harsh German policies imposed on Czechoslovakia. Heydrich ended up being the highest-ranking Nazi officer killed by resistance movements in Germany's occupied territories in Europe. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, 
give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.